Another way to work with WordFast is by accessing its online version. You just go to freetm.com and create an account and then you log in and you will find a software that resembles rather Trados with Word than actual version of WordFast. You can load translation memories in it and you can also import TMEX uh, standard translation memories. You work uh, your translation in the normal way. You just open the segment and then save it and you will see the tag. This simple yet effective versions of WordFast allows you to not only upload documents in both format of Word or TXT or XLS, but also created by a different version as TXML. Another thing that you can do is to download, meaning to retrieve from a WordPress server, the files as TXML, but also as bilingual that is compatible to Trados. So when you are not uh, at home or you need to make a translation on the way, you can use uh, freetm.com, Trados Anywhere, for all those format files that you need. Another thing that WordFast Anywhere can do is to work with a translation memory that is stored on a server. And you can do this on both versions of WordFast Anywhere and local WordFast. In the standalone version of WordFast, you deal with translation memory by selecting new or select TM. And if you are provided with a TXT exported format translation memory, you will just create it and then import it. However, if the client provides a location, an address for a remote translation memory, you will open it by inserting the address that would look like a web address or like a FTP address. And in this way, by using remote translation memory, more translators can work in the same time on the same project by using the same translation memory both in the standalone version and in the online version of WordFast. In the standalone version, please pay attention when you see yellow, it means you have a fuzzy and it means you need to change something. And once you modify the segment, the color, it will change to purple. So purple can see here is the color for edited segments while green is the color for 100% match from the translation memory and yellow for fuzzies. For exporting you do this pretty simple you just go to file save translated file but you need to pay attention to the original file. You need the original file and it needs to be placed in the same folder where your TXML file is located. And then you will have a copy of your original file with all the formatting and all the graphic elements of the file, but translated.